Hello friends, welcome to EduTab. As you are already aware of that we are running success story series on our YouTube channel. And there is one such very inspirational story with us today. And that is of Mr. Aniket. An RBI aspirant turned into a manager. But guys, trust me, this is one of the most inspirational story that you will find. He is a fresher who cracked this job in his fresher attempt. But before telling about this entire story, let's start with our uh, the pattern that we follow in the exam in our interview so aniket let me tell you about the entire layout of this interview first we talk about this your background your educational background different things related to that and your story also how you came yeah. across this examination what are the risks that you have taken then we'll talk about the strategy part strategy will be similar to our examination pattern first we talk about phase 1 then phase 2 and then the interview yeah so aniket just tell us yeah, what is your educational background? How you came across this examination, RBI? Okay, so please. Yeah, so uh, I come from Lucknow. So I did my uh, bachelor's in commerce in Lucknow, a three-year course. And then post that, I was uh, preparing for CAT. So at that time, I heard about uh, grade B uh, because uh, one of my seniors in school got selected in grade B and he was one of the best people that I knew. He was very inspirational to me. He was an all-round candidate. So I understood. Uh, I realized that uh, if he is going to IBI grade B, then it is something. So I always had it back, on, uh, back of my mind, but I still prepared for CAT. Uh, I got good marks in CAT and I went to MBA good now, uh, to do, do my MBA. I completed my MBA in 2020. Um, uh, during that uh, MBA, I got a PPO from General Electric. It's a company. There I worked there for three months, but still I could not uh, uh, get that satisfaction from work. I wanted a more... Uh, all around uh, exposure to the economy. And there I was working in just a company. Yeah, I was working in a finance role. I was in the corporate finance analyst there, but still I wanted more. So there I decided to take a very risky bet of uh, leaving my job and preparing full time for RBI. Uh, it is a risky job. Uh, it was a risky thing because I knew that uh, leaving just three months post my MBA would have a gap on my uh, CV and recruiters later will really ask me that why they will look at me as an unstable candidate. So, but I understand that uh, I don't want to give it a two, two, three year cycle that I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm not with working. So I realized that I should give it uh, once and I should do it right once. So I gave it my all. I left in around September 2020. And from October 2020, I started preparing for RBI. I also prepared simultaneously for SEBI to hedge my bets. But uh, in SEBI, I could not clear phase two by, uh, I think, four or five marks. But still, that was a good lesson and gave me a boost to prepare more, put more efforts in RBI. And then um, I, I think RBI exam happened in March and April, and I cleared it. So from October to March, almost six months, you have taken it. One shot, all in. So all guys, in, in. You, you can see that here is a guy who has resigned from his job, and he's a fresher not having the prior experience of this examination, but still able to crack this exam within six months. Now coming to the inspirational part, Aniket. Because see, it was a COVID period. Yeah. The job market was going down. Everyone was losing yeah. his job. And for months, even even for the months, many of, them, uh, many, many of them are out of the job. So how, what maintained your mind? What is What was going into your mind? Ki if I do not be able to make this, how will I get up? Because there is a probability, it's a COVID situation. And you are already get you have already in a very good job, and from there you have resigned for this your dream. Yeah. So what was going into your mind? Because you have to crack it and you already done that. Yeah, thankfully I did. I mean, that was my biggest fear that I wouldn't be able to do. Sir, so, uh, when I was uh, working in my job, it was, I think, a mixture of push and pull factor. Uh, there was a, there is immense amount of pull out towards RBI, and that I don't need to describe. There was a push factor. Uh, uh, I wanted uh, a better life, a more impactful life. Uh, somehow, I, I also interned at uh, uh, an NGO before my M MBA uh, uh, years. So I felt that I found that mujhe thoda sa, I feel uh, much more motivated when I'm working for a larger cause, when I feel that my work is contributing to something much bigger than I am and not just profit. In uh, around three, four months, I realized that uh, corporates work on just one thing, that is uh, profit. It, it is it is the reality and yes there are human relations people are cordial to each other but the sole motive is that so i just thought that if i can uh, uh, take a risk right now i'm young i'm not that uh, I, I don't have any responsibility i'm not married i don't have any kids 
So I see people in their 30s and 40s taking risks. So maybe I can take my risk right now and do it. Uh, parents supported, uh, uh, my girlfriend supported, and thought all that helped in uh, uh, building that requisite, you know, motivation reserve. And also, whenever I uh, had hiccups, uh, that also helped. Uh, my parents helped, my friends helped. So yeah, that motivation came, and also uh, I have to accept that fear also drove me along. Um, I cut no corners. I listened to everybody. Um, I, I I did not. It doesn't mean that I implemented whatever they were telling. But I listened to everybody. I was not, I did not follow a hard line. I, I, I made sure that whatever is being told, I analyze it and then I, uh, I mold it around my strengths and weaknesses and I did whatever I could. So if you look at my strategy, there were no corners cut. Everything all in. Okay. Uh, you have mentioned about your family, your friends and someone special also. So that's a quite a tough decision because I can understand I've been through that situation as well. <laughs> it was a tough decision. It was a tough decision. It was a tough decision. Yeah. It was a good salary job, and still, if I I told my seniors there, and they were also actually in one particular aspect, it's a tough job, <laughs> tough decision to make in one particular. But we won't discuss that that, that here. <laughs> no, no, yes, sorry. that is so, something that left for off. Screen. Yeah, off screen. Yeah. <laughs> so. One more question is that many of the times the freshers they have this fear. Should I start from where to start? So that we'll discuss in the strategy part. But many times they think, yeah, this job is for me. This is not for me. So they they remain for a lot of duration in a confused state. So what what is your suggestion on that? Uh, sir, I believe that uh, see, मेरा भी ऐसा एक stage आया है. It's not that I haven't been in that stage, and that's I think at a metamorphosis that any everybody goes. That my phase, that phase came before MBA. See, I told you that I knew about RBI Grade B. I I was preparing for uh, MBA, so I I also had a job in offer after my BCom. So I wanted to. So there was a stage, that stage, and that stage come probably sooner or later. But I think it's important to uh, ask yourself honest questions. What do you actually want? It's okay to make mistakes, and it's okay to it's okay to regret later. not before you should realize that whatever you want to do you should it should really speak to you and your motivation should last the whole process please i think uh, if somebody uh, someone wants to do rbi for the prestige for money for anything else for telling uh, anybody that you see i did this i think these are all very uh, these are not very good motivations i think you should prove uh, things like that you want to prove it to yourself that you can get through this you want a good life you want a good role you find rbi an attractive organization to work for your whole life for a whole career i think these are good motivations focus on your motivations find that if it is uh, worthwhile and that will only drive you till the end. so if we can say uh, in this maslow's theory of hierarchy self actualization need comes first then the physical needs or the we can say security needs <laughs> so yes. this is this is a critic of maslow theory <laughs> yeah, if you have confidence then sir aap you can look after your safety and physical needs that is not wo apne aap aa jayega your branches ki jo line hoti hai ki kamyabi ke piche bhago success apne matlab kabil banu kabil banu kamyabi apne aap aayega yeah तो हो जाता है सब मेहनत करनी पड़ती है सबका हो जाता है ओके सो आई थिंक वी नाउ स्टार्ट विद आवर स्ट्रेटेजी पार्ट करेक्ट सो कमिंग टू दिन सो इट इज already enough or they are not enough for the phase 2 yeah. so many of the aspirants fails in these stages because they lose the temperament that is needed for this examination because like in this year there was a change in pattern so many of the aspirants even lose in the phase 1 because they lose the temperament that is required in the examination cut off was very low even mm. i think it is the lowest one till date correct yes so what is your take on that how one should maintain what is required with the presence of mind that is required for this examination so i think uh, uh, because there is a intense competition there is intense chatter there are now over communication through telegram groups through you know youtube through listening to everything i think one needs to step back a little and understand that 
this is just a job this is just a goal that you have set yourself this is not life so once you look it look it as, as a job as something that you need to do then you think a very uh, both balanced approach ho jata hai dekhne ka so for example this phase 1 uh, i remember that we were preparing phase 1 according to old pattern we never knew that phase 1 we there will be a huge change i believe that in phase 1 there was also a huge change ga mein phase 2 ke questions bhi aaye the maths became suddenly again more difficult yeah ga yes, yes. wasn't like everybody scoring 65 plus out of 80 people were scoring 35 plus 45 was considered a topper score 50 was considered a topper score so again this all this comes from i think little experience and even then i have seen some people without any experience getting the hang of this because situation has changed karti hai you should have confidence in yourself that comes from only balanced approach that comes from not getting affected by the chatter around you the noise around log jitna bhi bole tough hai you should have look in your in yourself have confidence have a very balanced approach kuch bhi hoga maths wahi hai sir ga bhi wahi hai thoda sa hi difference tha i think agar koi prepare bhi nahi karke gaya tha tab bhi main janta hu kai logo ka kuch preparation nahi ki unka ga unka pura phase one nikal i just was talking to some guy so aisa nahi hai nahi nikal sakta hai banking ki tarah hi hai thoda sa is baar cat ka bhi aa gaya element तब भी लोगों ने कर लिया सर मैं कैट का हूँ तो मेरा भी हो गया बैंकिंग वालों ने कर लिया सो आई थिंक थोड़ा सा डर ज्यादा बन जाता है दिमाग में वो ना बने तो आई थिंक एनी थिंग इज पर कॉन्फिडेंस रखना चाहिए सो गाइस दिस इज दैट इज अ वेरी गुड सजेशन बाय द एडिकेट प्लीज नोट दीस लाइंस बिकॉज़ ओवर द पीरियड ऑफ ऑफ द टाइम यू विल फॉरगॉट ऑल दीस थिंग्स एंड दिस इज व्हाट आर दिस इंटरव्यू एक्चुअली मींस टू यू दिस विल इंस्पायर यू दैट इफ आई एम गोइंग थ्रू सम सिमिलर सिचुएशन हाउ कैन आई कोप अप सो कमिंग टू द फेज 1 पार्ट वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट द जीए देयर वाज अ लॉट ऑफ चेंजेस चेंजेस इन द जीए व्हाट अर्लियर जनरली एस्पिरेंट यूज्ड टू डू कि भैया किसी की भी एक मैगजीन उठा लो और वो पढ़ के चले जाओ एक दो मंथ की एंड यू कैन इजीली स्कोर 60 65 बट इस बार क्या था देयर वाज अ चेंज इन द टाइप ऑफ क्वेश्चंस दैट वाज आस्क्ड इन द फेज 1 दे वर नॉट आस्किंग द डायरेक्ट क्वेश्चंस वर अदर there was a news and within the news they are asking something so hmm. how you prepared right. the ga part so i think that um, what helped me in during that is uh, for that because uh, is that i was preparing for phase 2 even before phase 1 happened i think it's important that uh, uh, phase 2 ki preparation should start right from the day you starting the whole rbi grade b uh, festival in your life shuru kar dena chahiye grade b uh, phase 2 ka end tak nahi rukna chahiye ki phase 2 ke result ke baad main karunga it should ha- uh, happen i jo bhi questions the jo ek news ke ek piche puche gaye the all that we actually do during grade b uh, during phase 2 jo normal questions the which were not in uh, according to the phase 2 circle which i remember there was some question of any countries latvia or something aise questions ke liye i think it's a matter of luck and uh, luck and also the amount of general awareness that you maintain in your life i believe there were also a question of uh, uh, oceans मैडागास्कर के पास क्या ऐसा कुछ क्वेश्चन था आई डोंट रिमेम्बर मैंने आपका सेशन देखा था उसके बाद मुझे लगा था मेरे कुछ काफी सही हो गए ऐसे जो मैं सोच भी नहीं सकता था सही होने तो बट सही हो गए थे इसलिए बिकॉज आई बिलीव मैं मैं न्यूज़पेपर पढ़ता था लोग कहते हैं न्यूज़पेपर नहीं पढ़ता पढ़ना चाहिए कोई जरूरत नहीं मे बी दैट वर्क फ्रॉम मी फॉर देम बट फॉर मी न्यूज पेपर इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट वट एवर यू डू न्यूज पेपर इज योर बेस उसके ऊपर यू लुक फॉर कंपेनियम यू लुक फॉर शॉर्ट नोट यू लुक फॉर वीडियोज यू लुक फॉर क्विजेज I think newspaper is the base. So once that all-round approach happens at news uh, at uh, newspaper, uske upper you can make. So I was able to answer this question question because I had read. Kisi editorial me maine padha tha. So that click. Single news padte padte people get bored. When it happens in a news form, you re- you listen to YouTube videos about news or opinions. That helps. So maybe is tarah se thodi si analytical preparation thi for phase two. But surprisingly, accidentally, fortunately, it helped in phase one as well. If I try to ask it on behalf of the aspirants, what was the newspaper that you were referring? Sir, uh, so my habit रही है sir newspaper पढ़ने की दो बहुत सालों से पढ़ रहा हूँ मैं एक Indian Express और एक Business Standard. I think I started that from MBA days and I have continued it till now. Okay. So I think uh, what are the sources for the this GA part? You are you are referring it from this uh, newspapers, but was there any other sources? Yes, yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely. अच्छा newspaper बहुत एक बहुत broad है और उसमें रिवीजन करना आसान नहीं न्यूज पेपर का रिवीजन नहीं कर सकते रिवीजन के लिए या एक थोड़ा सेट पैटर्न के लिए कि को बार बार पढ़ना है आई रेफर टू सर दे हिंदू मंथली कंपेनियम विच आई यूज फ्रॉम बैंक अड्डा बट आई ओनली यूज इट बिफोर एग्जाम जस्ट फॉर अ वेरी क्विक रिविजन ऑफ अ होल मंथ पूरा न्यूज 
देन आई रेफर टू डेली रिव्यू ऑफ अफेयर्स क्लाउड उसमें छोटे छोटे एक जैसे स्कीम लॉन्च हुई तो देल गिव बैकग्राउंड सो आई डिड दैट ओनली फॉर फेज टू बट सर्टनली इट हेल्प अ लिटिल इन फेज वन एज वेल आई सो दैट बट ओनली डेली रिव्यू आई डिड नॉट गो फॉर दर फुल कंपेन विच आई फाउंड एक्सट्रीमली बल्क then i used your uh, aapka bhi ek uh, ga ka compendia mata i used that to just give it a good switch if i have i covered any have have i missed any i revised it i used multiple sources to just revise see if i am covering anything and um, get the get the whole preparation pura holistic 100% ho jaye then i also used that rbi and cb circular ka bhi ek ek compendium tha aapka edit app ka that i also used to make it ki sab kuch cover ho raha rbi ki taraf se bhi cover ho jaye and ga bhi cover ho jaye because i understand the rbi ke question bhi puche gaye the is our phase one hmm. so certainly that helped okay so one more question because you are referring so many sources so a student will ask ki sir do we rely on multiple sources or should we revise from one single source multiple times so what i did was that i had a uh, single source like bankers bankers adda ka hindu monthly compendium that i uh, revised multiple times so what that does is that that covers around 70% of the questions that are asked from idhar se dekho udhar se dekho 70% question aaram se usse cover ho jate hain if you know it by 100% your 70% base is covered now for the remaining 30 question because 30% question so i believe that no source no compendium is comprehensive it is impossible for anybody to be comprehensive so to you to safeguard yourself that is all always complementary it is not supplementary so dono uh, mutually exclusive nahi hai ki main ek karunga ye karunga ya aisa bhi nahi ki sab kuch karunga वो सप्लीमेंट करने के लिए टू कवर द लास्ट लास्ट माइल थर्टी परसेंट उसके लिए आई डिड दैट एंड जो भी मुझे लगा इंपॉर्टेंट आई मार्क कि ये उसमें नहीं था आई नीड टू वर्क एंड आई फाउंड मल्टीपल ऑफ थिंग्स जो कहीं नहीं थी जो मुझे अलग अलग सोर्सेज से करने में मिले ओके डेफिनेटली देयर विल बी बिकॉज़ जो मार्केट में अवेलेबल सोर्सेज हैं द मोस्ट ऑफ देम विल कैटर एट 60 टू 70 परसेंट कोई भी आप सोर्स उठा लीजिए बट फॉर द रिटेनिंग यू हैव टू कवर इट इन होलिस्टिक वे फ्रॉम डिफरेंट सोर्सेज थोड़ा सा जब आदमी स्टार्ट कर रहा होता है तो उसको इतना कॉन्फिडेंस नहीं होता अगर जैसे अब इफ आई लुक बैक आई से मैं दो सोर्सेज में भी मेरा हो जाता एक सोर्सेज में भी हो जाता अगर मैं अच्छा बट उस समय इतना फेयर रहता है उतना डाउट रहता है डर लगता है तो डर में भी आदमी करता है करता है। अगर आप चाहें तो दो में भी कर सकते हैं बट आपको किसी पर भरोसा नहीं करना है कोई बात नहीं आप सब करिए लेकिन आप ये समझिए कि एक ही से रिविजन बाकी सबसे बस कॉम्प्लीमेंट्री so i think they, these are more than enough question related to the ga part coming yeah. to qri you are already from the cat background so would you find it easy ki the questions were of same level or do you needed any extra preparation for this or what is your suggestion for the aspirants who are actually new to this because who do not have a background from cat because everyone who appeared in this examination is not from the cat background mm-hmm. so what do you want to suggest to them so um it is it will be very tough for me to uh, give advice to people who are not from the cat background or who are even not from the banking background so i'm going to refrain from that because even in cat i used some material i i went i went to the whole coaching cycle of cat as well so us maybe i had build i had a lot of questions i had books to study so i had that background in mind that definitely helped but then when i looked at it from a fresh eyes at that starting of my preparation i felt that this was all something new to me because this was very banking centric accidentally in phase 2 some cat level cat type questions came but pehle to bahut banking centric tha so for for me it was something new so speed mathematics ki i was not aware and i was not very adept in i i understood more conceptual questions rather than speed ones so initially i struggled so i i used some so youtube sources i used some coaching little coaching material to just un- understand the tricks the type of questions and for uh, qri i used ample mocks there is no way of doing it i know that from cat days it has to be from from it was has to be a backward walk you do mocks you realize your mistakes you see where you are lacking then you go study the chapter that type of questions you practice it so that the next time you don't make a mistake mistake so i around did around 25 30 mocks and that helped that was enough sir 30 to 40 mocks is quite a good number <laughs> <laughs> yes sir okay so rather yes, than going to here so rather than because you already have a familiarity with the topic so what you did you did the reverse engineering you did, you tried the your hands with the mocks and then you try to analyze your mistakes and then again a mock and then again the yeah any questions that i found that i knew and i had no idea i referred to common sources and it just okay. got got the hang of it then it was okay. easy so i think this is more than enough regarding the phase 1 coming to the big stage which is phase 2 the main stage <laughs> and this year they have already added this descriptive part so a lot yeah. of again you also you need a 
temperament to deal with this because the change was a sudden and you are yeah. as a pressure was dealing with this so yeah. because you do not have a background in this uh, descriptive part so let's first talk about that only how you approach this descriptive part so i will tell you a, a little uh, my whole journey i'll tell you a little story about that so around january when the notification came i had i was not even completed with if i have to ask myself honestly i had read through it but i was not confident about even 50% of my syllabus and then descriptive portion came so it was all hell break loose every every person on youtube every person in telegram was going mad so then uh, i attended some session of deepak sir so he told me that aisa kuch nahi hai ki aapko aata nahi hai aapko sab aata hai aapko bas likhna hai so that was something that mujhe lag raha tha ki main kaise likhunga kyunki jaise hi aaya tha laga tha ki bas mera koi chance hi upsc wale le jayenge sab le jayenge upsc wale unko to sab aata hai wo sab yahi padhte hain main sir mba mere ko aata hi nahi hai to fir then i realized ki nahi i can write kya question hoga cb pe question hoga nabard pe question hoga jo aaya bhi tha in sab pe tha to chote chote notes i have the data and itni badi word limit bhi nahi so itna mujhe tough nahi laga what really helped me was during mba i i had a habit of writing answers not that long answers but likhne ki aadat thi plus graduation mein bhi thi bcom mein bhi plus more importantly i think newspaper padhne ki aadat thi to newspaper padhne se aapka jo english ka command hai the way you structure a story the way you write answers if you read editorials you understand how you have to answer they you have immense content because you read a lot to go back to and write quote some examples all that help initially 15 days was very tough then also editorial material because jo bhi maine padha wo tha ki mera makeup karne ke liye but course to editorial se mila ki descriptive ke main sare padhta chala gaya aap log update karte the uske do din mein main pura pad leta tha fir main ek bar dobara padhta so all that help so i think it's comprehensive preparation in all circles and having confidence ki kar loge i believe lot of people have doubt but they did it darna nahi i think dar thoda sa zyada kaam karta hai fear of failure or even fear of winning sometimes lag raha hai main kar lunga lekin tab bhi nahi kar pata aisa kyu confidence rakhna chahiye apne aap so we need to avoid the fear at, at any and, and uh, 20000 words in 90 minutes was it practically feasible sir i did it sir i don't know 20000 words pop <laughs> kaise bol rahe but 600 400 words i did yeah 600 and 400 that's matlab yeah, yeah. in totality you uh, you have to write 2000 words na acha 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 sir ha to <laughs> i did i did i wrote matlab because i had uh, i i had ample typing speed i had worked as well so mujhe uh, target karne mein koi problem nahi and once the question came it just pours out of time nahi itna sochne ka structure karne ka प्रैक्टिस रहती है आपको दिमाग मेंटल मेकअप अच्छा है तो यू कैन राइट उसके बाद तो जस्ट इट हेल्प आई वाज इन द फ्लो एंड आई कुड राइट सो आई आई हिट 600 400 वर्ड्स इन एवरी आंसर सो अभी आपने कहा क्या कहते हैं कि स्ट्रक्चर स्ट्रक्चर के बारे में आपने हल्का सा हाईलाइट किया सो व्हाट वाज द स्ट्रक्चर दैट यू फॉलोड इन योर आंसर बिकॉज़ जनरली व्हाट वी सजेस्ट टू आवर स्टूडेंट्स कि यू नीड टू फॉलो अ स्ट्रक्चर लाइक यू हैव टू गिव एन इंट्रोडक्शन यू हैव टू गिव अ कंक्लूजन और सॉरी यू हैव टू गिव अ बॉडी एंड देन देयर हैज टू बी हैव अ कंक्लूजन so yeah. what's what was the structure that you follow you were following because you already mentioned ki yaar why itna time nahi hota ki you aap itna soch sake correct yeah so i think that comes from practice and also that comes from uh, jo bhi aapne jaise padha hai if you read novels if you read editorials i think editorials is a very good example of how to structure your basic idea of what you want to say with arguments with counter arguments and in a short amount of time so for example i remember that there was a question on globalization so ki what how globalization has affected uh, uh, the, the in the new time or how is as globalization been so maybe successful or not there was some question i don't remember but i remember my answer so what i did was i understood that uh, when there is a flow of uh, capital labor and technology these things are mostly that follow uh, geo geopolitical boundaries they they cross geopolitical boundaries between different people different different countries so i structured my answer around that i took up capital first then i took up labor because of brexit has happened labor mein problem hogi labor in european union mein itna single market tha change ho gaya hai capital mein there is fdi there is fii then there are certain restrictions put on by india so i quoted all these examples i made sure they understand to make a very structured answer ki ye hota hai land ye cap sorry landing capital labor technology all that i structured around that so it depends on the question as well as aap kitna aapke paas examples hai throw karne मेरे पास एग्जांपल्स बहुत थ्रो करने को थे बिकॉज मुझे पता था कि ऐसे ऐसे होता है मैंने एमबीए में बहुत कुछ किया था मैंने रिपोर्ट्स लिखी थी सो आई थिंक फेमिलियरिटी है 
यूपीएससी की तरह जो होता है वो मुझे उसका कोई आइडिया नहीं था कि यूपीएससी में कैसे आंसर लिखे जाते हैं डायग्राम बनाए जाते हैं वैसे तो मैं नहीं कर सकता था बट आई न्यू वट आई न्यू एंड आई वॉज एबल टू राइट इट तो आई डोंट थिंक दैट स्ट्रक्चर हैज टू डू विथ बहुत ज्यादा एबिलिटी मुझे लगता है कि ऑन द मोमेंट एज वेल एज जो आपने पढ़ रखा है उससे अपने आप आ जाए छह सौ वर्ड में सर स्ट्रक्चर बनाना इज नॉट इज ईजी बट बहुत बहुत ज्यादा कॉम्प्लिकेटेड स्ट्रक्चर नहीं बना सकते so uh, let's come to our next part of this uh, discussion of phase 2 let's come to the three sections separately let's start with english so many of the aspirants want to know how to prepare english just on a general lines we can discuss this and then we, on the fm and esi we will discuss it in more details because generally english is just a uh, though it is a scoring one it is quite important one but the approach is generally the same okay yeah. Yeah. so english i had uh, uh, heard from lot of uh, videos that many successful candidates in their past failed attempts they had done the mis- classic mistake of ignoring english they had taken english for granted and they did not mentally prepare or never practiced english they thought that they could be, be able to do it so i did not commit that mistake i made sure that i had uh, read all the advice i had uh, listened to everything that was said about rba exam what is the particulars of it Uh, so i made sure that my essays my even uh, rc answers and pressy were very simple in language i did not try to uh, complicate it a lot i know i'm capable of writing a very complicated essay uh, my english theek hai so i don't i had confidence but still i restrained myself and i made sure that whatever i write is very complete very simple and up to the point uh, i should not beat around the bush so i made sure of that i was not very confident in pressy so i focused more on pressy i wrote about around one or two pressies and i made sure that i got it checked from somebody so uh, he or she could uh, tell me if i'm making any mistakes other than that i did not do anything specific i had the confidence but i just made sure that i listened to all the advice because i think rbi is a little different in evaluating english it's not an exam of your english ability it's about communication in english that's it okay and i think you have scored around 71 marks in english so that might be due to the special attention that you have put in in this subject because many of the students generally do because they are aware that i am good in english so i can make it but in the real examination the requirement might be might be different a little different so i think a it's little a little bit okay so coming to the next two important topics because many of the students have doubt regarding this fm and esi so what was your source in terms of coverage for the fm first let's talk about fm first so the fm uh, i had some familiarity about finance part uh, even management so i have done my mba but uh, i have to be honest because the kind of fm that is uh, the course of rbi the uh, the intricacies of it because it focuses more on the indian financial system and in management it is about theories in mba we do more case based uh, studies where we look at large cases of companies and then we uh, understand and evaluate but this is very theory based so i had not done it i did it just from the coaching material that i had from you from uh, other sources i just com- complemented things like i did in ga but i made sure that i stick to what the coaching uh, providers were providing me i do tap ka sir maine acche se kiya tha because i realized that if i do it from book it will be a vast ocean and i'll get lost mujhe aisa lag raha tha so i understand i believe the experience of uh, coaching uh, providers and i made sure na usi se karu and bar bar karu so management was from coaching fm was from coaching and then dynamic portion i again used compendium provided by you finance ka i remember there was a compendium uh, and this was circulars we there i read that multiple times i followed some news on uh, on rbi wherever they were giving some new notification circulars but i didn't check any faqs or any uh, i didn't uh, download from their website and use the pdfs to understand the whole topic i just used the summary of it for finance management only from coaching material and nothing else okay regarding finance one question is coming to my mind regarding the descriptive ki have you quoted any real life example in the management because uh, there was a question on transformational and transactional leadership so have you quoted any real life example uh i think sir i have i don't remember the exact example because I, at that time i was reading a lot but i did quote a uh, certain transactional transformation leadership uh, examples of people known people i think transformational leadership i quoted if i'm sure ratan tata i believe and in transactional uh, i quoted some i think 
was Bernie Madoff or some maybe Trump. I think I quoted okay. Trump. Trump. Okay. Transaction. So, actually, yeah. one 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 more one question or uh, which actually requires the fine detail. Yeah. You just quoted these as an example, or have you explained it that why they are a transformational Explain. leader? You have explained that. Yes, I explained. I explained. Okay. Because that is an important point. Many a times the students are confused and they just need to quote. They have quoted Ratan Tata. So that is more than enough. No. Because I in management, to... management is actually an art. It is not a science. So yeah. Ratan Tata even be explained as a transactional or as a transformational. It is you who is yeah. needs to explain it. Yeah, I think I think uh, any, any, any leader is a, a line on a, it's a line, transformational, transactional. So sometimes based on circumstances, he falls. So I also use this example. Sometimes I use this in Mira Tha because I have a little idea of MBA. It's a little idea that a line that we fall on it, based on circumstances. circumstances. So I use some example, Ratan Tata, ka, then I use transactional leadership of uh, Trump, and then I could answer. It was, I think it was an above average answer, but I, I, I wouldn't use it as a model answer. Hey, even this is reflected in your uh, uh, marks, actually. You have scored around 74 marks in the FM. So even if we say ki that uh, for half of the marks are for the objective, so it's still 30, 30, 35 marks are for the descriptive, which is quite a good score. Good. So com coming to this uh, ESI part. Yeah. ESI. ESI, a lot of students are confused how we can prepare this because the static part doesn't play that much role as of today. Anyhow, in the future, RBN can always sur surprise us. But as of now, they are not asking that much in terms of static part of the syllabus, more it is towards the current affairs. Right. So what was your approach regarding this ESI as in totality for objective, descriptive, you can explain it together. So uh, ESI was the one section that I was very afraid of. Um, I think that I did not have any association with ESI. The E part, probably the static portion, which you just said, ki kam aata hai. so that was something that I had familiarity with. But again, I needed to revise it for a competitive level exam but the s portion social issues and the whole uh, uh, the whole uh, portion on the indian economy whether it's budget whether it's uh, finance commission whether it's how the budget is created all that uh, the various schemes government schemes all that was something completely new to me so i i took a lot of time to understand what should be my uh, strategy basically what i understood was 85% focus should be on, on my dynamic portion and 15% on static. Descriptive came a little later and that was, I was very afraid of. But I made sure that all the ESI compendiums, government schemes, I revised it multiple and multiples of times. I keep myself, I, my eyes and ears open. I also struggled a little in government scheme. I could not remember them. And because Purana pattern that 40, 50% government schemes so it are was, it was a very daunting task for me. So what I did was that because kisi compendium se padne mein mujhe ho rahi thi, I discovered Edutab compendium a little later. Jo maine end mein, maine padta chala gaya, sir, wo January, February, March ka apne tha, wo padta hi chala gaya. And ek apne full compendium mein tha, wo bhi maine padha. But usse pehle main ye kar raha tha ki I was making little uh, Excel notes ki is, um, is month mein ye scheme famous hai, ye scheme baar baar repeat ho news mein. I made little notes. I keep kept updating it and I kept revising it every week. So that helped a lot. Baki jo uh, thoda sa skhenge, static, jo alag dynamic portion and not just government scheme. Us maybe I kept revising all these indices, all these reports that come out, World Bank, uh, IMF, in sabhi reports aati rahi as I keep uh, updating myself. And also economic survey and budget. I focused heavily on economic survey and budget because I'm timing exam ka tha. I knew that economic survey and budget se pucha hi jayega. So even I created a little, little uh, note, uh, note for myself before uh, uh, I took it to the exam center and kept revising. So all that helped. For descriptive portion, I did the same thing like, like I did in FM. My uh, structure was the source of the way that I would do it in the introduction. There were a lot of simple questions that came to us, thankfully for us, that there were five important things in the budget. And all of this was very easy. It was not so tough. But this is that ESI is so vast. Hai. Again, I would say, please uh, focus on the uh, course that you have, the source that you have decided. And usko bar bar revision kije. RBI, I think, bar bar revision karne se hi hoga aur kaise bhi nahi hoga. And I also believe a good thing, the one very important thing that I'll say, government scheme mein please ek dam depth mein mat chale jaiye. There are a lot of things that you need to do, whether it's English, F, M, even E part bhi hai. Sab ko karna hai, 
ऐसा ना बिल्कुल मुझे लग रहा है कि मेरे स्कोर हाई इसलिए हुआ है कि मेरा बैलेंस है देखेंगे सेवेंटी सेवेंटी वन सिक्सटी थ्री किसी में एटीज में नहीं आए हैं किसी में फोर्टीज में नहीं आए फिफ्टीज में नहीं आए अगर आप बैलेंस स्कोर रखेंगे बैलेंस अप्रोच देंगे सब में निकल जाए नहीं वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट योर हाई स्कोर इन द नेक्स्ट पार्ट नेक्स्ट पार्ट मीन्स इन द कमिंग थर्ड स्टेज ओके but yeah coming to one important question that we have missed uh, related to esi you have mentioned about the sources so what were your sources that you have referred for completion of esi yes sir so you have highlighted but because many of the yeah. students want to know it hmm so to uh, esi ke liye i used uh, your coaching material jo aapne diya tha chapter wise chapter aap update bhi karte ja rahe the i was reading it turant turant you had created a schedule so i created a schedule around that I read that from that. Then I used another coaching material which I was using before. उसका भी मैं revision कर रहा था. वो उसमें बहुत basic topics में पढ़ रहा था. बाकी descriptive का जितने भी analytical था वो सब आपसे पढ़ रहा था. Then I also kept a track of different events that are happening um, all um, in in the world. उस समय budget था, economic survey था. लगातार नए नए वो आ रहे थे views आ रहे थे about economy. Uh, Covid उस समय जो बस खत्म ही हुआ था. तो ये सब मैं पढ़ता जा रहा था. अच्छा sorry to interrupt you. Actually you mentioned about budget and economic survey. and actually hmm. during this time it came just before the examination if we say yes sir. so and economic survey in totality is a very large document correct and there is lot of free material that is available online hmm. even from the upsc even we are providing and there are others that are providing this yes. so what's your take one should prepare it from the government source only or the zist will do sir i personally did not cover uh, cover it from the original source i did not covered from uh, government source because i found that too bulky uh, i mean i could get lost and of course i had dearth of time so i had to understand that what will be the return on time invested that i'll get for investing so much time in it. so i used uh, a compendium i used a summary and i kept revising it there is ample uh, you know analysis also because there was analysis about debt debt sustainability yeah. there was ample uh, uh, source in um, uh, in uh, newspapers as well so that help if there is a certain question asked even in interview or in in, uh, in uh, phase 2 i think you can tackle it because sare portion i don't think economic survey is important hai budget mein there are lot of numbers and there are lot of schemes i think those schemes are very important i think budget se kafi directly question aaye the uh, numbers are also important from that i think those numbers should be thoroughly revised so i think budget aap chahe to original se kar sakte hain it's easy to do but economic survey no okay so i think these are more than enough related to the phase 2 strategy yes sir now guys i want to introduce you to the champion of interview stage mr aniket <laughs> he has scored 72 marks out of 75 i repeat it it's 72 out of 75 so aniket i think we need to discuss interview stage in detail yeah <laughs> <laughs> uh So, so let's let's start from the basic level. What were your sources for your preparation? We will come to the interview part. Let's first start with before reaching before entering into that gate. Hmm. What were all the things that you have done prior to that? Hmm. So I think um, first thing that I did was जो भी मैंने biodata में भरा था, I did it comprehensively. Um, I had I had a fair idea of what um, is asked in interviews. MBA में दिए थे उससे पहले भी दिए थे. So I understand that. being uh, aware of the facts that you have mentioned in your bio data everything about it whatever you have done whatever wherever you have worked any certification you have taken it's extremely important it it reflects a very it reflects very very badly on you if you are not aware of that so i think that takes took up amount a lot of time then um, there was there is a book that is all often propagated that is functions and working of rbi i did that multiple times because i think that builds your familiarity i there were questions asked uh, from that in uh, to me in, in interview then there is uh, various rbi publications which you can do from summaries but i prefer to do it from the original source so i completed the annual report twice there was ample time i think april 1 was the phase 2 exam and then my interview happened in august everybody's interview started in august so there was ample time you can do it so i did annual report i, I read it twice if you read it once end to end you will have so much confidence that you know it whatever they are thinking about inside whatever they are doing you will know about it then there is financial stability report uh, i read it from the original source then there was trends and progress in banking i read a summary all that helped in uh, building a lot of confidence and building a lot of content for that interview and that certainly helped because mera usi mein se aaya 
baki the third portion that i have worked on was giving a lot of mocks sir i gave around 6 to 7 mocks anybody who was uh, uh, giving uh, taking mocks i i took mocks anybody if there was free it was paid i gave mock because i understood sir you could say that i could have i should have been confident ki mera ho jayega mba mein interview diya hai acche college se hu ppo bhi mila hai but it's very important to remain hum- 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 uh, to maintain humility understand that it's a different exam it was a different interview experience altogether pehle interview mock mein pata chal gaya tha ki nahi itna aasan nahi to sabke main review dekh raha tha log keh rahe the ki aap bahut lambe answers de rahe ho short karo itna time nahi rehta hai so all that help and sir finally aware to rakhna hi apne aap ko bahut general awareness ke question puche gaye the mujhse opinion ke question puch liye gaye the mujhse ek question pucha gaya tha ki ई कॉमर्स ट्रेड का आपको क्या लगता है इंडिया में सही है कि गलत है इसको बढ़ावा देना चाहिए कि इसको बंद कर देना चाहिए क्योंकि ट्रेडर्स को नुकसान हो रहा है इसमें कुछ भी मैं बोल दूंगा पता नहीं क्या समझेंगे तो बट देन मेक योर सेल्फ अवेयर वर्क ऑन योर सी वी ऑल दैट्स ऑल एडेड फॉर दोर मंथ ऑल एडेड ओके So have you taken our mock test that is organized by? Yeah, I took I, I took mock test. I think uh, Dr. S. Raja. I think he was uh, CGM. He took my mock test. Yeah. He he gave me so many things to. Ye bhi padho, ab wo bhi padho. Main sab padha sir. Well, but he was very very helpful. Um, I think many many places I gave interview they were very uh, discouraging, but he was very encouraging. He helped. He he had a very positive mindset. He he gave me good feedback. He he was very helpful. Very very helpful. Okay. so uh, one question is as you have mentioned that many of the questions are gen- related to general awareness like this e-commerce so was there any question related to which you were not comfortable uh so uh there was on just one question that i could not answer otherwise i answered everything there were some tough questions in which they asked me to take a stand and then i took a stand but i took a balanced stand i'll tell you uh, there was uh, I read about sub tech and reg tech. Sub tech is supervised technology, and reg tech is regulated technology. Regulated. So I read that in uh, that is the whole conversation. That this is this and this is that. That's all. I never read and never read any literature comparing these two. What is more important? There was a ma'am sitting. She asked me, "What is more important?" According to the first, my instinct was I told her. I told her that I did not know anything about the comparative aspect, but I understand that RBI is looking more towards sub tech. there are uh, uh, big data might can be used in anti money laundering in combating financing for terrorism and also in uh, continuous evaluation of the all transaction that happen um, so i i could answer that from a logical perspective although i hadn't read anything but because i read annual report i could answer so this was tough for me okay this made me uncomfortable definitely so you have answered i think almost every question that they have asked I could not answer one question, sir, because my interview went around twenty minutes, and for the first fifty minutes, it was a barrage of questions. Uh, एक के बाद एक, एक के बाद एक cross questioning. Um, everybody was coming, so I, I was. I, if I look back at my transcript, they answered. They asked a lot of questions, but thankfully, I was able to answer. Um, I think just I couldn't. I remember I couldn't answer one question. As I said, I don't know, sir. So you directly Otherwise, mentioned, sir. I don't know. I don't know, sir, because it was a very deep question, sir. i could not know. i think he was going on trying to decipher what is the depth of knowledge that i have and i said i don't know. okay it's important so, that you say don't so it was a technical question that he was asking yeah it was a technical question he asked that um, can a cent- can anybody become a central counterparty is there a licensing policy for central counterparty yeah i said oh, sir i have no idea i have i don't know okay. you still i don't know sir <laughs> you will get to know it in the rbi <laughs> <laughs> maybe 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 i'm putting that department <laughs> yeah so it was quite enlightening that even you can say no yeah. there is a limit to which you can be grilled yeah you need to know that where you can say no sir beyond this i do not know you so accepting no as an answer is also a feasible option because guys here is a guy who is sitting and he has scored 72 out of 75 marks so even though if you are saying no for all the answers that will won't make any good in your interview so guys please and is there anything anything else that you want to uh, quote here that sir this was different in terms of interview because actually one thing that i have noticed na that the duration of your interview was lengthy when i 
discuss when I came across the interview of different uh, uh, different managers who different toppers. They mentioned that their interview was hardly 14, 50 minutes. Most of them said that our interview was 11 minutes, 14 minutes, 15 minutes. But you were mentioning that it was 20 minutes. Yeah. So that means they are attracted talking to you. Yeah. The way you are explaining explaining it. So even guys, one thing is even you have noticed that this guy is remaining calm, composed, and he's answering each and every question very comfortably and also in a very crisp and consolidated manner. So you can learn these uh, skills from him. Try to notice these features as well while watching this video. And anything else, Anike, that you want to quote here regarding this preparation? Yeah, so for interview, I would say that, uh, yes, I, I think you underline it very beautifully that it is okay to say no. I think the level of questioning, the depth of questioning that they go to is also to understand the depth of understanding that you have. I think they go deep because they know that you know more. So they want to understand after kitna level. I think that help, that is an indicator that if you are eventually saying no, it means that they have found your depth. And maybe that depth is very impressive to them. And I think that that helps me. Uh, and secondly, uh, I think in working on your profile is extremely important. Sir, I got questions from my MBA. I did a corporate competition. I won a corporate competition. She asked me the recommendations I made in that corporate competition. And my mom asked, there was a EV based ki electron, uh, electric vehicles mein kuch change hoga, toh, what will happen? So I gave her three recommendations and she asked me on the fly. I had to remember on the fly, but I had read the PPT that I'm created. But then she asked me to connect it to RBI. What is RBI doing for, for interoperability? So you understand that she, what they are trying to do is whatever is the question is asked, it is based around RBI. So please, from the moment you uh, do your phase two uh, sell, uh, uh, exam, you're done with it, please focus all your attention on RBI, whatever is RBI doing. I think annual report is a very good uh, source to understand whatever is RBI doing. I keep finding clues. I knew about interoperability. Uh, RBI had last year created software about Bharat QR that should be interoperable across, across all UPI platforms. I quoted that example. I quoted India stack. So I think that helped. And thirdly, uh, Yes, as you mentioned, it is to remain calm. I believe it is a conversation. I do not think that it's an interrogation. People, when they go inside, they become uh, they become very tired. No, they don't become they are tired. They become very. I've people. I've seen people hyperventilating. I was outside. The other candidate who went before me, he was speaking so loudly that was visible. That was heard across the hall. So I could not understand that he was talking normally to me. Why has it become suddenly so loud? <laughs> so I think it's a it's a function of your uh, uh, I think confidence and also yeah. that you should remain calm. It's a it's a conversation, not an interrogation. No, Please take it not as an interrogation. Yes, that's it. So I think you have explained each and every point very carefully, very calmly. That is what I'm observing. That you are explaining it very calmly. You need to maintain, guys. So one thing that even I'm learning from him. It's quite an impressive uh, skill and he's explaining each and everything very beautifully. So you need to maintain presence of mind. You need to maintain your temperament when you are going through each of these phases. He's, he is not showing it in the uh, interview stage only, but he is already indulged in the, uh, he's, all, he's having this uh, skill for the phase one as well as phase two. He's maintaining his temperament. So you can learn this from him. So I think uh, Aniket, you have explained each and every point and uh, just a few more basic questions, just uh, yeah, yeah, sure. just random yeah. questions like what you were wearing on that particular day. Sir, uh, mm -hmm. a normal suit, uh, pant shirt and attire and a suit, that's it. That's it. No, no, no embellishments, uh, no, no anything. Very simple attire, uh, but smart attire and okay. uh, a clean shave, uh, uh, tidy haircut, that's it. Okay. And one more thing, one question is ki your, the type of questions that have been asked from you and I've interviewed other toppers, though I'm not comparing it, but the type of questions that I came across with you are slightly more grilling when I compared because they have asked simple questions. Many of the times they have, uh, to other aspirants, they ask just general questions. Mm -hmm. And your interview, if I try to take it, it, it was more on the grilling lines. Yeah. And yeah. still you have managed it so calmly so guys here is a thing that you can learn from him even if the situations get tough because first of all you need to be confident how you can get confident you need to prepare well so he was he has mentioned all the sources very beautifully you need to remain calm 
that is the next thing confident and calmness and then one more thing is you have to be crisp and consolidate while replying so i think is there any point that you want to add up no 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 i believe that that's what i did i think and what you said that uh, sources jo bhi maine bataya when i read through them that gave me the required confidence i think confidence thoda sa kam mera kam hota agar if i hadn't put my 100% effort whenever you're putting your 100% effort then you it automatically confidence will come otherwise when you know that you've got corners and you will have a back on the mind ki main shayad nahi capable hu itna main nahi kar pa and you put in 100% confidence be confident that yes you can do it anything that so sir even i in the interview i was told that you should read more about this and when that when i came out of the interview uh, i thought that mera nahi hoga ha because aise pe hota hai ki when interviewer is itself is saying ki yaar aur pad lo so that means ek negativity aati hai man mein ki nahi yaar ye to he has given me the wrong signal and the last question ka i couldn't uh, also last question was so difficult i said sir with my limited knowledge that's what i think and when i came back and read about it there were four different reasons and it was so complicated question that i could not answer yeah what happened sir so uh, i think you have answered each and every point very clearly for the phase 1 and i think in entirety related to the entire strategy of this rbi examination we have explained each and every point so just one last question any not question just any motivational thing that you want to said to your future aspirants who will be looking at you as a source of inspiration how they can prepare for this exam and anything you want to add up sir uh, i think i am I'm, i'm going to repeat this but it's very important that i repeat this because i kept repeating it myself every other day i think it is very 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 important to have belief and confidence in yourself bahut belief is one word that i would focus on i think because exam mein aisa cheeze hain government exam mein waisi itna intense competition rehta hai seats limited rehti hain there is intense chatter it's very important to रिमेन काम इकोनॉमिटी मेंटेन होनी चाहिए तभी आपका दिमाग चलेगा वेन एवर यू आर स्ट्रेस आपका कभी दिमाग नहीं चलेगा कहीं पे भी तो डे बाई डे यू शुड टेल योर सेल्फ आई एम केपेबल आई एम वर्दी ऑफ बींग द टॉपर आस्क योर सेल्फ दैट यू आर वर्दी ऑफ बींग द टॉपर एंड इवन इफ द वर्ड अंदर से आवाज आती नो अभी नहीं कीप वर्किंग एक दिन आएगी कि हाँ यू आर केपेबल आएगी आप करते जाइए बी कॉन्फिडेंट मैं सर मैं आई एल बी वेरी ऑनेस्ट सर मेरा कैट दो बार में निकला था so i i i mera cat first time nahi nikla so i you can see see that i am a very average intelligence guy mera bahut zyada intelligence nahi hai everything that i have i have worked very hard on so the point being aapko lage aap jo bhi hain ki aap mein kam intelligence hai aap kahin kharab background se aate hain you can work on it you can definitely give it give yourself the chance to be anywhere you want it's all a matter of your hard work and belief that's it okay so aniket i think you have explained each and everything very beautifully we first of all congratulate you on your achievement and really appreciate the time that you have taken out for the future aspirants yeah that this this sort of uh, interview helped me a lot in my preparation so i made sure that i i do this for my um, juniors because, as well yeah because a lot of aspirants will be now looking at you as a source of inspiration so thank you so much aniket thank you sir so, take care bye bye thank you